I've always been pretty mindful of what's going on, but never to this extent. I really had no idea what our justice system was like, and it just was started off from me being on social media, on Twitter, seeing a video of Alice Johnson, and all she had to do was say that she has a low level first time drug offense has the same sentence as Charles Manson and that clicked to me mm -hmm. and I thought well there I, I didn't know what had to do or what had happened and so I really wanted to figure it out like well what was it did she not have a good attorney did she like I really didn't know what would get someone in that situation and so I've really educated myself I sent it to my attorney and as you go, like, there's, you realize there's so much more that can be done. There's so much more that has to be done. And I couldn't just sit back and, if I knew that I could help make a difference, I couldn't just sit back and not. So I first met Kim uh, through Van Jones. Van and I had co-founded a nonprofit together uh, seven years ago now called Hashtag Cut 50. And the goal was to bring both the left and the right together around criminal justice reform uh, so we could cut the prison population. I didn't realize at the time that we co-founded it that we would have such an instrumental voice helping us achieve this mission. Um, but I met Kim after she reached out to the White House about Alice Marie Johnson's case. And we had a summit there just a week later. And a bunch of the women who had been incarcerated with Alice came with Free Miss Alice pins on. And Jared Kushner walked over and he was looking at one of them and he said, I've heard of this case. Tell me about her. And my friend Topeka, who was the one he was talking to, said, you know what? I did time with her and she is the most incredible woman um, I've ever met. She changed my life and I'm successful on the outside now in part because of her. And so he said, you know, I've got to get you guys together with Kim Kardashian because she's trying to um, get this woman out. And I think she might be interested in, in more issues as well on criminal justice reform. So he connected her with Van and, and Van connected her with me. Because I know Alice was so powerful in changing a lot of people's minds about our system, I wanted to find more cases like that, but in completely different capacities. So finding um, Alexis, who had been sex trafficked and was being raped at the time her pimps was killed and her being charged with that, and a, a man that uh, has since gotten out, but he was just there when, when a murder happened, and so he got more time than the actual murderer. Um, just to really paint a picture for people how unfair our system is. And a woman, Dawn, who f from the age of five had been molested and raped and had had actual hospital visits documenting her trauma, but no one did anything. The state, no one stepped in to help her. And so by the time she's 30, she goes and sees her, the, the person that had been molesting her all these years, who was her step-grandfather, and he tries to do it again and she kills him and stabs him, but she's painted out to be a drug addict and someone that came to rob her step-grandfather and, and it was like a robbery gone wrong is what the media and what the, the state made it out to seem like, but they were never allowed to mention any of her past trauma in her trial. And that makes absolutely no sense. And so once you hear from her, she wrote me, the most heartfelt open letter that I've ever gotten. And after I read her letter, I called Jessica and Aaron and our team and was like, we have to do something to help this woman. How do we share to the world that there are thousands of Alice's, thousands of Dawn's, thousands of Mama Lou's, that, I mean, it's just, it, it is, that's the reality. So what can we do to help? What a lot of people don't realize is when Kim took on Miss Alice's case, there was also a federal bill going on at the same time. Uh, there was a bill called the First Step Act that was bipartisan, it had a lot of support, but it really only focused on prison conditions and on uh, rehabilitative programming inside the prisons and some reentry supports, all of which are very important but as Kim said, there are thousands and thousands of people inside of our prisons who have very unjust sentences as well. 
And so when Kim took on Miss Alice's case, um, we saw a real change of heart for a lot of people, including the president, who suddenly realized how much unfairness there was in our system. And I had the honor of standing you know, right next to him when he endorsed uh, sentencing reforms being added into the bill. Because of that today, thousands of people have come home from federal prisons who many of which would have died there uh, if it wasn't for those reforms getting in that bill. And Kim really was instrumental to that.